It's the second evening of Missouri's rifle season. Sunday night. There's just a little bit of snow left on the ground from Friday night. We had about four inches. The movement has been pretty slow the last day and a half so far. I think total I've seen uh, two spikes and a button buck, which is not very many. So we are, are sitting here tonight. We've got a big valley up in front of me. There's been a lot of deer killed back here in the, in the last years. And coyotes, and uh, I'll definitely shoot one of those if he shows up tonight. So we're gonna sit tight and see what happens. Yeah, buddy. That is what I'm talking about. That was the last minute. I just about had to leave to go to church. Pizza long right there. Yes. Look at that. Let's go. All right. We gotta get her loaded. So we're going to field dress this deer now.
going to keep my finger on this blade so it doesn't go any deeper than it has to. A gut hook, if you have one, makes this a lot easier. But... left mine in the house. Now I'm gonna switch to a saw. And cut the pelvis. That perfect. Come on. Reach up as far as you can in there. Cut the windpipe. Do you attach it? it all out. All right, we got everything. I'm going to drain it. Nothing left in there. We're gonna get her hung up now. Well, y'all, it's the third day of rifle season in Missouri. It's 25 degrees this morning, so we're all bundled up. And I plan on sitting here for a few hours anyway. I'm overlooking about a six acre bedding area. And uh, we've got a, a southeast wind right now, which would be blowing it pretty much dead across this this area, the bedding area, but it's light enough that the thermals are pulling it up the hill. So we're in pretty good shape. And the rut is going on uh, right now. I haven't seen a whole lot of, a lot of deer, but uh, I know it's out there. I know they're there. So anyway, I'm excited for this morning. It's supposed to be cold all week, so it should be pretty good. So we're going to sit here and see if anything happens this morning.
sure is hanging around that doe I just shot. She keeps smelling and walking all around. She's been here for like 10 minutes at least. There's another one over there coming. Two. Well, that's the second doe of the, the season so far with a rifle. I shot one last night and uh, she hit her about the same spot. She acted about the same. They didn't, both didn't go very far at all. So we're in pretty good shape. I, I wasn't gonna shoot a doe tonight, this morning, if I saw one. But it's like six of them come through and a spike. A spike was chasing them and whatnot. But seeing that many, I was like, all right, there's enough here, you know. So I uh, I had two behind me, four in front of me, and that spike. And I let them go first at first. And they turned around and they come back. I was like 30, 35 yards right there. Smoked her, so... Anyways, I am waiting for a buck now. We'll see if anything else shows up this morning. Well, it's a little after 10 o'clock, 10.30 or so. I am fixing to climb down and we're gonna go uh, look at that doe. I've, I've seen um, a couple more little bucks come by since I shot that, that, that deer. And uh, it's just about, about time to get out of here and get some chores done. So let's go take a look at her. All right, so we're about where she was when I shot her. And uh, I was up there in that tree right behind me. So she wasn't very far, maybe 35 yards. We're going to go see if we can find her now. There we go. Sweet. Well, I think that's gonna, gonna about do it for this one. So if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.